Hi everyone, version 6 of Bygen is almost ready for release. At the moment I'm just finishing up some little bits of code and working on the more boring things like documentation, admin and storefront work. But for this video I thought I'd just give you a short preview of the kinds of things you can expect to see in the coming update. The first thing I should mention is that the scope of Bygen is expanding in a significant way. As well as providing non-destructive generative modeling styles, an interpreter and some extra spawning functions, it will also allow you to build your own structured generators. This is essentially what the random weapon, mech and space station tools are. They are concepting tools that piece pre-made objects together to assist with concepting. These previous tools were hard-coded for the specific type of structures, but the code included with Bygen version 6 is abstract, meaning that you can create generators with an infinite number of layers and sublayers, each with their own position references to inform the continuation of the structure. I will talk more about how to use this functionality to build custom generators in the future, but this opens the way for a vast number of possibilities. Originally, I was withholding this code and planning on using it in a paid add-on that would become a dedicated generation framework for Blender, but I've decided to package it into Bygen for free because my ideas for the future of the add-on have changed over time, and I'm looking forward to you getting a hold of it for yourself. There are two main methods for structured generation in the update, which are called layered and branched generation. Layered is for constructing objects from categories of individual parts, and branched is for creating connecting branches from a library of modules. But don't worry, not all of the effort has been put into this side of the add-on. There are new modify styles to let you create some cool and strange effects with your models. There's a mode called Destructor, which can create some really cool variations, and I think this has become my new favourite style. And of course the scattering techniques from the City Scatter tool have also been added. This includes the circular method that tries to avoid object overlapping, and the rectangular method for grid layouts. Of course, none of the artwork from the original standalone generators has been included. Everything added to Biogen is just code. Overall, the heaviest part of the update is the structured generators. The next step on from version 6, looking to the future, would be allowing access to create generator blend files that can be used from other blend files. Theoretically, this would be connected to some kind of asset manager, and this would allow people to build up their own libraries of generative content. This would also allow for the possibility of free and paid content extensions, made by either myself or other members of the community. To give you a hypothetical use case for concepting with the generators, imagine a concept artist has been asked to help design a corporation for a fictional world. The client wants to see weapons, armor, vehicles, buildings and so on. Instead of handcrafting different variations of these things individually, they instead focus on creating individual pieces with accents and motifs that represent the corporation. Then by simply arranging these into collections and giving Bygen some parameters, it will piece them together in different arrangements, along a layered structural guideline that has been designed by the artist. Then they can take some of the results and decide to refine them further with manual effort, or they can continue to feed more content into the generator to increase the total possible permutations. This is a concepting workflow that's assisted by generative techniques, and it's a gap that Biogen will now try to fill. Overall, stay tuned, I'll put a release video on this channel once the add-on is ready and you can follow me on social media for updates. So thanks for watching, have a great day, and I'll see you next time.